Hey everyone, in today's video tutorial, I'm gonna have a look over a sensor that is TMP100. To gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's go ahead with our website that is controleverything.com and here search for this sensor that is TMP100. We got that TMP100 is a temperature sensor with 12 bit with two address lines, and these are some of its features. For this video tutorial, I will be interfacing the sensor TMP1000 with an Arduino Nano and for that we require Arduino code. So go to resource tab and here is our Arduino code sample. Click on this code sample and you can download this sample as a zip file from here. You can also have this code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware we require for this video tutorial and make some connections for that. For the hardware corrections part, first of all we require an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now this is an I2C shield available on our website controleverything.com. The usefulness of this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices rather easy. So make the connection of the Arduino Nano and the I2C shield like this. Now what we require is our sensor that is TMP100 and a connecting cable is required. Make the connection of the cable and sensor like this and while making this connection, make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same thing happens for the I2C shield. Now to power up our Arduino Nano, we require a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over the power jack. So we are done with our connections part. Now let's proceed further with the interfacing of our sensor. Now we have to interface our sensor with the Arduino code using Arduino Nano. So for that, log in to github.com and here search for control everything community which is our repository. Click on it and here search for TMP100 and here is our required sensor. This is the code we require, Arduino code. Let's go to the instruction for the Arduino first. We have to download and install Arduino software ID on our machine and this link will help us to install the Arduino step by step. So please follow it carefully. Now get back to the Arduino code as we require and this is the code with .in extension. First of all we have included wire.h library and a defined address for our sensor that is 0x4f. In the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600. In the writing section, we have selected configuration register having address 0x01 and here we have set con continuous conversion mode, comparator mode and 12-bit resolution which comprises for 0x60. Now in the void loop function, we have selected the data register 0x00 and requested and read 2 bytes of data from this value register. Coming to the conversion part, we have converted the temperature using the formulas which are in the data sheet for the sensor TMP100. At the bottom of our code, we have our output data displayed on the serial monitor which is in the form of temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So this is how the code works with Arduino. Now let's uh, go ahead with the working part. For that, copy the entire Arduino code and open up the Arduino terminal here. Enlarge it and paste and save the code and name it TMP100 for the reference and verify and compile the Arduino code. It's done and now upload the code. It's done uploading and now open the serial monitor to have a look over the output. Now as you can see the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. Now when I press my finger over the sensor, as you notice there is a change in temperature and Celsius. Now again doing that, the change in temperature is in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales is visible clearly. So this is how the code works with our sensor. Now let's proceed further and see the applications for the sensor. We have just seen the working of temperature sensor TMP100. This device is digital temperature sensor and it's ideal for negative temperature coefficient NTC and positive temperature coefficient PTC thermistor replacement. 
This device offers a typical accuracy of plus minus 1 degree Celsius without requiring calibration or external component signal conditioning. The sensor features SMBUS 2 wire and I2C interface compatibility. The sensor is ideal for temperature measurements in a variety of applications like power supply, temperature monitoring, computer peripheral thermal protection, office machines, cell phones, environmental monitoring and HVAC and a lot more. This product can be purchased from our website that is controleverything.com and the Arduino code is available on the same site. You can also have the Arduino code from our GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community. For further queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments queries on our community page. For more blogs and articles which are relevant to these, you can reach us on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can reach us on YouTube channel. Now, in the end, you have a good day and thanks for watching.